festival. Um, <laughs> Mod Podge. Um, second thing you want to have is some scissors. Third thing you want to have is some tape. You also want to have a paintbrush, um, preferably one like this that has soft bristles. And then you also want to get your text um, printed out on a piece of paper in the font that you want. And this text basically is going to go in the middle, just like here the word slay. We also want to have some paints. Oh, I forgot, you want to have a piece of cardboard. So as you can see, this piece of cardboard is smaller than the original size one I got here. And that's just because I ran out of cardboard. This is A4 size, by the way. But you can pretty much have any size cardboard. What do you want? Um, cut out to a rectangular-ish shape. Some um, patterned paper, rose paper. This one, obviously, as you can see, is from a Kath Kidston bag. Um, but you can use anything you want, and this is basically going to be the background of the poster. And then, last but not least, I know it's a long list, people, so thank you for keeping up, putting up with me. This beautiful set of glitter, which really is just going to give it a extra something. The first thing you want to do is get your piece of cardboard and as you can see, well no you can't see, but there is a layer, I've already prepared mine, with one layer of um, Mod Podge and this is just so um, when we build up the layers it won't deform the cardboard too much, the cardboard will stay a nice solid base. So once you've done that you just leave it to dry for 15 to 20 minutes and then you come back with this. As you can see in the original design, um, I left um, a bit of uh, cardboard here bare but I think I'm gonna change it up this time so if you want to make the exact same um, replica as this just skip this process but I am going to try and see what it would look like to have a center of um, white paint so I'm just gonna get my paint here I'm just using an old lip smackers tin And I'm gonna just paint the center, only the center, because that's all, the only part that's gonna really shine through in the cutout that we'll make later on. So. Okay guys, so after two coats of paint, um, it is finally dried. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pattern background and we are going to find a spot that we think is going to look good, the pattern that we want to take. So I think I'm going to go with the pattern here. And once we're happy with the spot, we're just going to trace around it. Okay, and so it's so And then we're just going to cut it out. So, um, I finally got my piece out, and now the important part, dun 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 dun, we are going to now make um, the cutout for the text to go in. So we're going to cut out a rectangle like we have here in this um, sample, and so grab a ruler, and we are going to try and determine the center points and basically how big we want the square to be, depending on how big your text is. That's what it pretty much would look like after you trace it out like that. You can see the little um, pencil mark there. For those of you who would like to um, make the geometric shapes that you see here, so the nice little gray triangle for example, what you're now going to do is you're going to get some clear tape um, and really any tape, masking tape would also work really well. And then what you're going to do is you are going to stick it here. Um, to whatever size triangle you want, so say you want that to be the triangle and basically allows you to paint just more carelessly without worrying about creating clean edges because the tape will do it for you. And then if I was to recreate the grey triangle, I would get my paintbrush and I would just get some paint and dab it, paint it all over here and then once it's dry I would simply pull this piece of tape off and it would reveal a beautiful clean edge um, and a nice grey triangle. But since I'm not going to do any of that, I'm going to move on to the next step, which involves um, our printed out 
uh, text here, so I chose Be Kind. Um, so I'm going to cut it out like this. And this is a very, very easy transfer technique that honestly can be used for so many other things. So you want to flip the paper over and basically shade in the area that you want to be transferred, like this. Once you get a nice sort of dark, even surface, get a nice sharp pencil and line it up to the place where you want it to be transferred. And then you just want to press into um, the writing on the top here. Three, two, one. Watch the magic. Ta-da! So as you can see, um, we've got the writing imprinted now. We can now move on to the next step. For this one, after I traced in the um, words, I then um, painted it in white and proceeded to add a little bit of glitter on top. This time, I'm going to go with um, black. Okay guys, so once you've finished painting out your um, beautiful letters, the next thing you want to do is basically stick down um, your backing paper, which I have already done. Once that's done, we are going to move on to the exciting part, dun, 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 which is basically using the glitter. So I think this time I'm going to go with um, this beautiful white glitter here and also this um, light pink one. So once you've picked out the colors of glitter that you want to use what you're now going to do is get some glue uh, preferably liquid glue I'm sorry I realize that as I continue this video the list of things you need seems to grow larger and larger I'm just gonna get a little bit of my liquid glue onto um, any container really and grab my um, very small baby paintbrush here and dilute it with a bit of water and then just put it on the places where I think it um, look good to put some glitter. So now that I've finished adding the glitter, this is what it looks like. The next thing you want to do is you want to draw out your triangles um, with um, a pencil and a ruler. So I've got one triangle here. This is where I'm going to add my paint later on and another triangle here. Before we paint the paint on, the final thing that you want to do just in preparation is grab some of your Mod Podge and this is so that when you paint on top of it, the paper won't get all crinkled and ruined. So just grab a bit of your Mod Podge and do one layer, thin layer, on top of um, the pencil marking. So, and this might be a bit scary because the paper will wrinkle initially um, because of the Mod Podge and it's glue and it's wet, but it's all going to be okay. Um, you'll be able to smooth it out afterwards. So already as you can see it's starting to like kind of bubble up here a little because the paper is becoming wet, but it's all going to be fine. <laughs> and if you want to, you can just add it on the parts where the triangles are going to be if you don't want to take the risk of um, painting in Mod Podge over the whole entire area. As you can see, I've sort of peeled back um, this piece um, here, just so I can smooth it out again um, to prevent any lumps and bumps. So I'm get, just gonna reapply the glue. And this is a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of scary having to peel it back and learning to be patient, which I clearly <laughs> failed at doing. But if you were patient, it should turn out fine. And then I'm just gonna get my ruler and go in here again and voila it pretty much looks yeah like it did at the beginning <laughs> the final step i'm going to grab a piece of tape and i'm going to stick it on one side of the triangle and make sure it's nice and secure i'm then going to do the same um the same thing with the other sides of the triangle And then you have a triangle surrounded um, on all sides by a piece of tape. You can basically paint it in any colour you want. Ok 
Okay guys, so I finished painting over the triangles and a few layers of paint and now that it's finally dry, I'm going to peel the tape off. I'm gonna go over this one first. <gasps> Amazing. Clean, beautiful edges. Now I'm just going to take this one off too and see what it looks like. And so I think I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, you might want to get an eraser, clean up some areas, you could always paint over some areas, you could add more triangles. Um, but yeah. This is pretty much the finished product.